Hello, hello, and welcome back again for episode... I think the last one I just put in was 9, so this one's going to be 10, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. This is either 9 or 10. Anyway, welcome back. This will probably be the last one I record for the day, I'd say, at least. And so far, that would also mean last one for the week. Because, I mean, after today is Thursday, which is my longest day of class. Which, I mean, to be fair, I mean, it does get off at 4, but by the time I get back, it'll probably be roughly around 5, which means I'll get dinner, probably play with my friends. And then on Friday, I go back home. You know, chill out with the family. Anyway, let us continue right where we left off. Let me... Yep, good, we're still recording, and let's roll. Okay, big question. We can scold him or dismiss. Let's dismiss. Oh hey man, you need to shut up. Chris, hey, come on, coach. He's, we're partners. Stop, don't say that. Fine. Be a dick. I mean, he's not the best guy, but he doesn't deserve this. He's just trying to prank his friends. See what you want to see? You're not talking. You are ah, dude. Ah, it's not my fault. You suckers can't take a joke. Oh, oh wait. Did I hurt you? Did you just you feel a little, little bit of pain? Mm. Right now, I am so, so sorry. Ah, stop it. Jesus, dude. Stop. Michael, I'm sorry, man. I can't tell you how sorry I am that something happened to Jessica, but I swear, I swear to you, I have no idea what happened to her. Josh, to be honest with you, do you, you really expect us to trust you for a single goddamn second after all the shit you put us through? But can't we all just get along? <laughs> ah! Damn it! Not dicking around. That's not how it's supposed to go down. You're just a bunch of bullies. You can't hang out a, a guy just to try like this, guys. Huh? Not like, not like you got the guts. To really do anything about it, anyways. Ah! Ah! Defensive. Oh, stuff that you're the biggest coward there is. Uh huh. I did something. I made you believe in the world I created. And I showed you parts of yourself you were too afraid to visit. You manipulated us, you tricked us hurt your friends, and you did it all while you hid in the shadows. You're a coward, Josh. That's all you are. Okay, you're tying me up now, okay. Stay still, right, man. Right, 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 still. Okay, can't tie him up if they just wiggle around. Josh, dude. I need me a little wiggle room, huh? What does it take to shut you up? Oh, not so tight. Okay? Not so tight, I can't, I can't wiggle around. There's plastic ties, that's where it's... What? In God's name, God, is plastic. he talking about? This is hard to watch. You ever see this guy shit before? Oh, I've never seen him like this. Your money back. <laughs> Poor hey, guy's Mike. losing it. Hey, Mike, 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 Mike. Mike! What? What happened with Jess, Mike? You know what happened. No. No, I, I don't. I got a problem, Mike. I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. No, I mean, like, I feel like I, I would remember killing her, you know? She's so soft. And she's probably got, like, a really tight bod. Shut your fucking mouth! Mm. Come on, Mike, don't do that. Uh, uh! Seriously? What, what? Did you think I was gonna shoot him? I, 
I don't know. Come on, Chris. You know me better than that. Yeah, Chris. You know me better than that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, just next time, give me a heads up, all right? <gasps> oh, you poor little piggies. You can't even get your good cup, bad oh. cup routine to work. Leave us to the pros, pros! Why don't you go back to the lodge? Make sure everything's all right. I'll stay here with this lunatic and good morning. Oh, sleep over. <laughs> hey, can we order pizza? <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. I want to know everything's fine back there. Yeah, you're right. See you, Josh. See you Sorry to see you like this. Like, that, that's really the thing. Sure, he did a bad thing, but he didn't do a bad thing. He's pranking his friends. Josh? <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that... Sorry, like, ladies, that everything else is happening. Here ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! No, 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 no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. Gonna fucking pay you, dick! Ah, what happened? With Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Hello, friend. Only three hours left. No! Huh? Don't stay away! Get back! No! 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 your face and come on I know I don't like you but I'm trying to keep you all alive also fun little fact there's a secret achievement if you can get them all out and there's also another if you can kill them all Ooh, a little chameleon and it's white it's a good one right Fortune, I gotta make Mike upset his spaghetti. Out of the corner, in. Keep walking. Isn't this where I was earlier? No, no, it's not. Gotta be real careful from here on. Like, this is where the big life or death kind of plays come in. Oh, going to the right? Oh. Okay. Okay, oh. this is gonna be the way. Hey, 
good work, good work. Oh, wait. Lodge. Crap, what now? Let me in, let me in! Let her in quick! Shut the door, oh my god, shut the door! Emma, are you alright? I didn't think that I'd make it. You were screaming bloody murder. You, okay? you look totally wild. There was something. Where's Matt? Come sit down, sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster in the room? Wait. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? There, there was this, this thing, whatever it was. I think you could relax. Josh was okay. messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. What Emma, happened? can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it, it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know, I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks, when we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in, in the tower, there was, there was a radio, and, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. The fuck that That's our new Jess. friend. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Mr. Flammenwerfer. You've come to save the day, haven't you? Ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun.
Let's see your <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Yep, listen to the man. I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Ah, uh, your friend will already be dead. No, no, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Hey, going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. Hey. Come back safe. Come on. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Aye, aye, Captain. Man, so, I hope he stays alive for a long time. How many time. times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Hmm. So melt their flesh and then shoot them with a shotgun. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or, I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some pattern. Like Something. any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only 
on at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Oh, was that one of them? The, uh, hmm. pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they wouldn't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. Toads? So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Did you ask? Damn it! Okay, guess we're going the long way around. Oh, they got him all right. Josh, he could still be out there. <laughs> First, the way to go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So we'll launch that. Yeah. Let's go now. Might still be near. Statement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? I think it tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart mm -hmm. on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then... 
We're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key, right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is oh. this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Ooh. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, it's oh my nothing. god. It's nothing. Oh, no. It just it, oh, no, it bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. not how it works. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how that's it works? Yes, eating it happens you, if it bit you. You're you going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn that's on zombies. us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. Mike, you're, take it easy. Shoot me? I really don't like her. Mike, me? This but... is the safe room, Em. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Can I prevent this? Yeah, no, sorry. I'm not shooting you. Kaboom. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. He's not gonna turn. For now. Does it set from eating each other, not one taking a bite out of you? Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? Uh -huh. It's not safe out there. I ain't Kevin. Okay. That, that he was gonna help us. With the flamethrower, dude? Yeah, we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can actually I keep can. the flamethrower guy alive. Hey, I mean, look, there they are. A windy goes. Mining disaster. How to fight them. Bite. 
assuming this is the information we care about. Uh, oh no 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 what? no no. What is it? What does it say? She's gonna be fine. It says that the bites. It, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry. What did you say? Um. It says she'll be okay. It says what? Be okay. Fine. Fine, Michael was shot me, is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. All I'm scared. Like, I don't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for like, Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I mean, she did kind of deserve that. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get the mic. Like, now. Nobody gonna tell me what she just saw that made her think that? And no one's gonna grab the gun he left. Oh, Joshua. Oh, hey, Dr. Hill. You should have listened to me. Maybe. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Hmm. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help him. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. I'm assuming Dr. Hill was real at one point. Your team has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Yeah, you should feel Let's sorry. Hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something worse than death itself. True. Next time we get it's 30 minutes, I say let's call it a year. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Peace.